ver Cloud versus Sonic is not a great one for Sonic. Yeah. Cloud can very easily punish uh, most of like Sonic's spin dash mix-ups on Shield. Mm -hmm. So if you if you're just shielding in the matchup and and Three. Sonic's trying to like mix you up, One. try to get you to react, you can just jump out of Shield. Neutral air pretty much invalidates like Sonic. In the yeah. And for Dynamo's game plan against you know Phoenix's Donkey Kong is you know if Donkey Kong's on the ground in the ground. Don't let him laugh. Yeah. Don't let DK laugh. Yeah. That, 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 in that case, this is still an awful matchup for DK because he literally cannot land. You see it right now. Five, almost six up airs, and Dynamo still tossing these out. I mean, Dynamo looking like the count of up airs, man. Like one up air, yeah. two up air. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. But and at then the, he gets you with like limit. Come on, it's the worst. Yeah. But on the other side of the token as well. <laughs> <laughs> I just really wanted. I just really wanted Phoenix to not away. You can see Phoenix is looking for a grab. I'm just gonna say on the other side of the token, it only really takes uh, Donkey Kong about three grabs to get the stock. And right here, he's looking for the grab because he knows he's gonna get the stock if he can confirm off the cargo up throw up there. Yeah, and I believe he actually has Dynamo in the percent. Yeah, he does. There it is. There it he is. Gets the grab. Oh, no, he, he messed up. He messed up the cargo up throw. He didn't buffer the jump at yeah. the same time. Yeah. And now Dynamo is definitely out of the percent now, so he's going to be safe from the, the traditional Ding Dong. Yeah. So he can maybe, because Cloud is a, a tall character as well, uh, a lot of the times the, um, the uh, grounded Ding Dong will work. Yeah. So there's still a potential for that to happen. I think he may have a little bit too much rage at this point now. That total not enough to kill. As you can see, he still hasn't given up. Whoa, platform came back in the clutch and back throw. Oh my god. Ah. Nice, that's there it. There it is. Yeah, 190%. I mean, basically, I mean, uh, Dynamo just got a sneeze on him. <laughs> I mean, Dynamo has to sneeze on him, but it's interesting to note the fact that Dynamo is the one in control of the Phoenix and the one position to stop. Come back here. Uh, this is this is perfect. Yeah. As as we said, the matchup is still awful. DK is not allowed to land in, in this matchup against Cloud, but he doesn't really care if he takes too much damage. So that just means rage and an earlier up throw up air kill, especially on top. This might be the range right here. Yeah. Until yep, that should lead into a grab if we get close enough. He gets the trip. He's looking for it. On the prowl right now, he finds it. Not gonna connect the Ding Dong because that percent is a little too high now. He should have went for the for the grounded one at that point. I think he that yeah. had more higher chance of landing. Even though he can get the Ding Dong, it's important to note that Phoenix is the one winning right now with that high percent against Dynamo. Whoa! Oh, there it is. From across the stage, catching the roll on and securing himself the first game. Yeah, like I said, I mean. The, this counter pick, I definitely like can can vibe with it a lot more than the than the Sonic versus Cloud matchup. Yeah. Even though it is his like tried and true character, it, it's pretty tough. And in this case, it doesn't really matter if you take a lot of damage, whatever. Uh, Cloud a tall character, so that's a benefit for DK. Uh, he has the potential to get the grounded Ding Dong as well as the aerial Ding Dong. And, and also. Being that Phoenix is a great player with great fundamentals, he knows that like I'll, I'll, I'll take this damage, but like, I just need that one grab. Yeah. And you even forced Dynamo like off the clouds, so now Dynamo is gonna have to go cheap in the matchup. So the Ding Dong percent gets a little bit of, I, I think it's a small opening, a little small opening for against the cheap. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit harder, um, not as easy as it is on Cloud, and it, this is Dynamo's OG character. So. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put the cloud away, so you know it's time to go with my tried and true, my original tried and true here. Put oh. it in work, but right now Dynamo in Ding Dong percent, so he's gotta watch out. And I would say, like, if uh, as long as the combos are like on point, I would say this is like a far more impressive matchup. Yeah. Like, that you know, Sheik is gonna be able to combo way, way harder, but he's gonna have a little bit of a harder time getting the kill. There's an up air, just as I say it, not struggling at all. <laughs> 74 percent though. Ooh, and I like the that. rounded version. There it is. Nope. Second time will be the charm there. But I do like how Dynamo takes the opportunity to just know that, like you said, it's harder for DK still because it's a giant hurt box, and it's better for Sheik. So all she has to do is just toss in these combos. Here we go. 
forward to a forward air. Ah, interrupting the second forward air attempt. That is not guaranteed, sir. Hold to my hair. It's got a lot of gel in it. It's spiky, so it's strong. Oh, that shield turning into a small m, &M there. Kind of like a skittle, if you ask me. Double back airs. Throw. There's Shushu Bouncy Fish, able to get that. Taking the time to charge Needles. I like that goes the advantage, pushing Phoenix all the way to the stage instead. Still got himself some damage and able to chase him down. She is that fast. Morto, no vanish kill just yet. No time was looking for it. Up air, will that be it? We're going straight up instead. Now the next up air may do the trick. He finds himself a grab. Goes for the immediate forward air, pushing him further off the stage. And there's the needles, the bouncing fish. What a clean finish coming out from Dynamo. Yeah, everyone's like struggling with the controller. Like, what? Oh, he's got two controllers. He's not probably liking the controller that he was using. I respect it. It looks like he did, like may not even have his own controller here today. I don't know. I feel like that's his controller. It's got Sonic. The like one, the one that he just pulled out. I saw the one he was just using. Wasn't I using that one? It was, yeah, that's the one that you were borrowing. It yeah. was it was sitting on that table. So it looks like he just showed up and was like, oh, I'll use this one. I mean, it was but then he lost the game and was like, nope, never mind. Going to my controller. Yeah. Ain't working out for me. Mine's clearly superior. Let's see it. Let's see if it's, let's see if it gives him the juice, man. <laughs> I hate it. Jameis is always looking at me, making me feel insecure. That's this thing, dude. He just likes <laughs> looking at you, or like he likes to like threaten you when he mutes you. He's just like, I haven't been muted once. I have actually. It was pretty bad. No, I, I mean today because oh, I've today? been I've been muted a lot of times. <laughs> All right. Winners finals once again. One to one. Finally. Uh, you know, we're seeing a counter pick war here. We saw the Cloud versus DK and the DK versus Sheik. You know, the Sheik versus the Sonic. You know what? Phoenix is going to say, if Dynamo's not going to go Cloud, I have a better chance of finding the Sheik than I do Cloud. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put on my knee. And it makes sense that he, like, he, he had to be forced into the situation because once Dynamo won that game with Sheik against the DK, it was on him. He, he could have switched back to Cloud, but then more than likely Phoenix would have remained DK, which he didn't want. And he yeah. just uh, stayed Sheik so that Phoenix was forced to come. Alright, that forward throw, bouncing fish, tap it off deck, just the other. He's trying to be extra cautious around Dynamo though because he knows Dynamo is looking for the easy access to the sheet combos there. Well, they are starting to slowly disappear. I mean, once you have that high percent, you know, sheet combos aren't really as effective as usual. That's kind of one of those things that make it difficult for Sheik is that, you know, at high percent, she doesn't have those combos and I see food. <laughs> Zeno's flashes it right by me and I hope he saves me a fry or something. <laughs> Are you not Dude, J Max is looking hungry. He's looking at Zeno's like, yo, dude. Yeah, you trying to share? You trying to share? You trying to share? <laughs> oh, oh, hell no, bro. <laughs> J Max not having it. $10 is. $10 is very high. He's not having it right now. It's Phoenix. He's definitely getting rid of Dynamo. Yeah. And trying to go on from winner's finals to grand finals. Yeah, I mean, he's still got uh, two more games to, before he can get there. And uh, at least one more stock in this game. Up throw, Phoenix. Nice. Oh, bounce fish. That's it. 42% so Dynamo uh, quickly able to, to close out the stock before he took any more damage and allowed Sonic to slip into the more patient play. Uh, he can still do it right now, but it's not really worth it, especially with how much time is left on the clock. Yeah. He, he, Sonic player still wants to extend the lead further at this point. Dude, Low key, everybody. Jenga's really getting hype right now. Yeah. Everyone's getting really hype. Everybody walking in with food. Everybody walking in with food is getting really hype. Your boy is starving. Yeah. And I hope we don't hear game five like, all the time. <laughs> it's bad because I actually got a migraine yesterday. Forget it. To the game. Throw. But we could do it. We could do it. Part of the job match, what comes with it, some of the hype matches here in SoCal, and definitely the finals of SoCal Smash League. I mean, this is just Division 2, man. Division 1's got some heavy hitters. It's got all the heavy hitters, you know, some of the highest placed PR members here in SoCal. Uh, 
No, not to say that Division 1 isn't any different, dude. You got some of the, some of the rising stars. And people who have even giving the heavy hitters trouble. Phoenix is definitely one of them. One of the few people that have beaten Fallen throughout the entire season. You know, having two, I think three wins over Fallen. Uh, him and AC, you know, coincidentally San Diego has the consistently highest win rate against Fallen. I like that. Try to go for the jump read. Forward throw into Bouncing Fish. You got the final hit of the up air. Well, looking for that possible spring right. Not able to get it just yet. Dynamo finally jumping away from it. Tossing in that bomb there. Nice. Excellent pivot shot. Pivot needles in a sense. Or turn around needles. Looking for that easy percent. Charging those needles as well. Looking for possible needles. Bouncing Fish. Good setup for it. Looking for looking to put in those needles. Sees the gap between him and Sonic, and taking the opportunity to just throw in those needles oh, for easy percent. Snap. Back throw. Still gonna live with that great DI. <laughs> oh oh man, no, dude, that has been happening so often for him. That's actually he's three for three. All all three times he's been on stream. All three of his sets, he's at least as deep one set. Yeah. And, but, like, dude, he's SD'd once Actually, that way, and he's still in winner's finals. What was the situation, though? Like, he, he SD'd, and then the last time I saw it was because he hit homing attack, and then at that, well, that time... One of them, what, the first time was homing attack, and the last two times were uh, spin, dash. spin dash, yeah. No. No, it's not. No, it's it, not. It's not. James, it's not. It, it's not. The shakes are good. The burgers are mediocre. I remember they used to be really thick, like really big burgers. Yeah. Now they're not. Yeah. Kane's Kane's chicken tenders also used to be really big when they first opened up here. Now they're tiny. Still gonna eat them though. Pretty good, pretty good Kane's. <laughs> Kane's is great. I would admit though, a little overrated, but it's still good. Oh, I, yeah, it's can't, good. I can't say I don't like going to Kane's. I can't say Daniel didn't want to go out there and get that limit limit uh, cross slash and finish off Phoenix that way. Dynamo looking to hopefully move on 3 1. Yeah, but let's see what Phoenix can do because the last time Phoenix fought this cloud uh, during this whole set, he was actually doing a pretty good job. He wasn't too far behind. Sure, he didn't get the Ding Dong, but he was still keeping the fight of Dynamo and he actually won the first time they fought. Uh, the Congress Cloud. Alright, so Dynamo actually did big damage out here. Up 2 1. This is interesting that we ended up in this situation. Uh, Cloud versus DK. Here's your back air. Now Phoenix is going to take this opportunity there. Is this going to be the Ding Dong? No. Doesn't see the percent yet. Goes for the phone. Yeah. Oh. He does see percent. It's going to be Dynamo. Taking the time to see that high percent on DK. Kind of a blessing though, because now he's got no rage and he's able to get the Ding Dong at this exact percent, possibly. Yeah. Gonna be James good. saying no because he said he think he had on the first choice. Oh, he's a he's a DK, he's a wash DK. Ooh, dude, fight him, Thug Finals. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he admits it, bro. That's a humble man. I'm telling you, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, all I know is uh, James oh, being humble. Another one. There that cross slash will be humble and Dynamo moving three one grand finals winner side, secondly Whoa. favored to even bro. Is he flashing? The jersey? To hell yeah. <laughs> he was flashing the jersey, man. Inanimate, right? In inanimate, okay. I inanimate. How, wait, Daniel, how do you say it? Inanimate. How do you say, the, how do you say your sponsor? Yeah. Inanimate yeah. X, yeah, see, okay. I was right. Inanimate X. INX. INX, okay. INX is pretty good. INX Dynamo Approved. taking the 3-1 victory over Phoenix. Mm -hmm.